So I've got my hands on the new Power Queen 12 volt, 100 amp hour, low temperature charging protection trolley motor battery. So as always, I've read the manual and there's some things I wanna point out. And how I like to conduct my test is to use the manual. So what they document in this manual is what this battery should be doing. So this has a 100 amp hour BMS and we're gonna be testing the capacity and that BMS in this video today. So a couple of things that I wanna make sure to test are the continuous discharge current. That should be 100 amps. The max discharge current of 100 amps. The max discharge current for five seconds will be 300 amps max. So that's your peak. And the continuous discharge uh, output power is 1,280 watts. And I'm getting this straight from the manual. Now this is not as small as the 100 amp hour mini that I did from Power Queen, but it's still a pretty light battery. Weighing in right at 22.8 pounds. And the overall dimensions is 13 by eight and three quarters. That's not counting the terminals at the top, the boats. For those, you'd wanna add in roughly another half an inch. The depth is six and seven eighths. And one of the most important things about this battery is that it has that low temperature charging protection. So there's a sensor inside of this battery that once it reaches a certain temperature, that it will not allow you to charge it and damage the cells. And how I'm gonna test that a little later in the video is I'm gonna put this battery in a freezer for 24 hours, and then I'm gonna come back and try to charge it and see if that sensor works or not. And it better work because this battery has markings all around it about low temperature charging protection. Now that we have the basics out of the way, I'm gonna do the capacity test. So I'm gonna use the Power Queen uh, inverter that I have, the 2000 watt inverter, and I'm gonna discharge this at a slower rate. I'm not gonna do a, a full 100 amps for however long it takes it to discharge. But what we're looking for is to have 100 amp hours of capacity in this battery. And I'm gonna be using my shunt display and I'm just gonna set it right here to actually see if we can get 100 amp hours pulled out of this battery from a full charge. And the final number is 102.46 total amp hours. So our capacity test passed our actual uh, continuous discharge of 100 amps. If it goes over that, it should shut off the battery. It passed, the BMS did the, its job there. I ran it for about a minute and it disconnected the battery, shut everything down. And I also tested the 300 amps for five seconds and that passed as well. And let me pause for just a second because I didn't show in the video that I had to change out my inverter to the 3500 watt inverter to test out that 300 amps for five seconds to see if the BMS was shut down. But I had to switch it out because my other inverter wasn't strong enough to support that test of 300 amps. So I did switch it out during that process to see if the 300 amps would shut down and it did. But I just wanna let you know that I did use a different inverter for that. So our next test and what this battery is advertising most is that low temperature charging protection. So what I wanna do is stick this in a sub-zero temperature freezer for 24 hours and then immediately bringing it out of the freezer, I'm gonna connect it and see if it'll charge. And by using that method, I'm trying to create a more real life scenario rather than taking the case apart and blasting it with something that really would just get it extremely cold to sensor itself. I wanna see if we got the entire casing and everything on the inside that cold, if that sensor will actually protect the battery. And I have just enough space to put a lithium battery in with my food. <laughs> the things that I do to test these batteries. And while my battery's in the freezer, I do wanna talk about what I'm gonna charge this with because it's so cloudy outside. I do have a Power Queen 20 amp charger that is designed for these batteries. And this is perfect because it will automatically shut off if the battery is full and it just is built for that battery. But the way that this will work is if I plug this in and it starts to charge when that battery is frozen, 
that tells me that the sensor is not working correctly. If I plug this in and it doesn't charge, then it tells me that that sensor is protecting the battery. We got temperatures as low as 19 below zero Fahrenheit. This battery is actually crystallizing. Let's see if it stops it from charging. Now that I got it hooked up, the charger is not charging. So I'm going to confirm that the low temp charging protection does work because if you look at this battery right now, it's crystallizing with the temperature. I want to get this hooked up as fast as possible because as this starts to warm up, that charger is going to kick on. And I just want to capture on video that the uh, low temperature charging sensor does work in this battery. Now that the battery has come to temperature, it's charging up. And you can see that this is red. You can hear the charger. And if you look real close, you can see the ice that's melting on here. Now, would I recommend you doing your battery this way? No, never stick it in a freezer. That's not something that you should be doing. But if this got left out in the extreme cold and you had it on a charger, then you know it's gonna be protected. My final thoughts on this battery is that it did everything it was supposed to. The low temp uh, charge protection, that worked flawlessly. The BMS, everything that I tested on it worked good. The capacity actually come in 2% over. So these Power Queen products are a good value for the money that you're gonna spend on them. And if you're interested in purchasing this battery or any of the products that I used in the video today, I'll have all those links in the description below. And you know I gotta ask you guys, if you found anything helpful in this video or if you just found it enjoyable in any way, be sure to smash the thumbs up button because it really does help me out. It helps my channel grow, bring more videos like this to you. And if you are interested in getting maybe notified when new videos come out, be sure to subscribe to the channel and tap the notification bell and I'll catch you in my next video.